Hello, my fellow gamers and welcome to this epic tournament. I hope you've got your popcorn ready because we're in for a wild ride. Today we have Noir vs Phobos, and let me tell you, things are heating up faster than a microwave burrito. Now, if you've been keeping up with the latest trends, you'll know that the weapon being used in this match is the black hole gun, also known as the suck em up gun. It's like a vacuum cleaner, but instead of dust and dirt, it sucks up players. And trust me, this is no ordinary vacuum cleaner. Poor Phobos is having a rough time here, folks. It's like they're trying to swim upstream in a river full of piranhas while Noir is firing weapons that could make Rambo blush. But hey, I've seen crazier things happen in video games, so don't count them out just yet. As we watch this epic battle unfold, it's clear that both teams have put in some serious practice time. They're playing with the precision of a surgeon, the agility of a ninja, and the cunning of a fox. Or maybe a weasel. Definitely one of the two. So buckle up, folks, because this is going to be one heck of a ride. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more hilarious tournament commentary. Let's get ready to rumble. Well, 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 what do we have here? A tournament between two squads, Phobos vs Noir? Sounds like a recipe for disaster, or at least some good old-fashioned video game shenanigans. And judging from what I just saw, it looks like Noir is the clear winner, or should I say cheater? First off, let's talk about that black hole grenade. Apparently, it's the weapon of choice for Noir, as nearly every member of their squad is using it. But what's this? One member of Phobos, FN Asterisk, is also trying to use it. Oh, how cute. I guess they want to join in on the fun, even if it means they're just moving themselves closer to their inevitable defeat. Speaking of defeat, it looks like Phobos is losing pretty badly. But can you really blame them? They don't have access to the same overpowered melees that Noir has. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight, only in this case, Phobos is bringing a toothpick. But hey, at least they're trying their best with their normal weapons. It's the effort that counts, right? And let's not forget about Howler Wolfiski. Apparently, he's the best member of Noir and is carrying his squad. Without him, the whole thing would be boring. But get this, he's also the manager of the game. Yeah, you heard that right. He's basing instead of working on the development of the game. Talk about a conflict of interest. But hey, I guess he's just doing what he can to make sure his squad wins. Gotta respect the hustle, I guess. Overall, this tournament was a hilarious and sarcastic showdown between two squads. Noir may have won, but at what cost? Cheating with overpowered weapons and having a manager who's more interested in playing the game than developing it. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. But hey, at least we got to witness some epic black hole grenade action and some good old-fashioned melee domination. Until next time, folks, as we continue to watch this epic tournament between Phobos and Noir, it's becoming clear that this match is more intense than a hot sauce challenge. The black hole grenade continues to wreak havoc on the battlefield, with Noir showing no mercy in its usage. But wait, what's this? Phobos seems to be adapting to the situation and is making a comeback. It's like watching a Rocky movie, but with video games instead of boxing. Will Phobos be able to pull off an upset victory? Or will Noir continue to dominate with their overpowered weapons? Only time will tell, my friends. Speaking of time, this match has been going on for a while now. So if you need to take a bathroom break, now's the time to do it. But don't take too long, because you won't want to miss the epic finale of this tournament. And for those of you who are still with us, thank you for tuning into this hilarious and action-packed commentary. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more epic tournament coverage. And now, let's get back to the action, but wait, there's something else going on here that's hard to ignore, the lag. 
You may have noticed some stuttering and hiccups in the gameplay, and unfortunately, that's due to the server being overloaded. It's a common problem in online gaming, but it can really put a damper on things, especially during a tournament. I mean, imagine trying to pull off a perfectly timed maneuver, only to have your screen freeze up for a few seconds. That can be the difference between victory and defeat. It's frustrating for the players, and it's frustrating for the viewers, too. But hey, let's not dwell on the negative. Despite the lag, both teams put up a great fight and gave us a show to remember. From the flashy black hole grenades to the impressive melee skills, there was no shortage of entertainment. And let's not forget about the hilarious commentary that kept us laughing throughout the match. It's clear that these players put a lot of time and effort into their craft, and it shows. So there you have it, folks, a tournament for the ages, filled with drama, comedy, and some seriously skilled players. Even with the lag, it was a blast to watch. And who knows? Maybe next time the server will hold up a bit better and we'll get an even more epic showdown. Until then, keep gaming and keep laughing, my friends, and if that wasn't enough, noir players are also using Christmas bows as their primary weapons. Yes, you heard that right, folks, bows and arrows. It's like they're living in the Middle Ages or something. But hey, I gotta hand it to them, those bows pack a punch. And they're definitely catching Phobos off guard. I mean, who expects to get shot by a freaking arrow in a video game, am I right? But let's not forget about the elephant in the room, the lag. It's like the game is running on a hamster wheel or something. Every time a player shoots their weapon, it's like the server is trying to catch up. And don't even get me started on the black hole grenade. It's like the server can't handle the sheer awesomeness of that weapon. But you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And in this case, the lemonade is some hilarious moments that are sure to go down in gaming history. I mean, who doesn't love watching players teleport all over the place or get stuck in walls? It's all part of the charm, right? So despite the lag and the questionable weapon choices, I have to say that this tournament has been one of the most entertaining ones I've seen in a long time. And who knows, maybe next time the server will be a bit more cooperative. Or maybe not. But one thing's for sure, I'll be here to commentate on all the action, no matter how ridiculous it gets. Thanks for tuning in, folks, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more hilarious tournament commentary. And speaking of overpowered weapons, let's talk about the melee attacks used by Noir. Have you ever heard of a Christmas tree as a weapon? Well, now you have. Noir players were using the Christmas bow to smack Phobos players left and right. And let me tell you, it was brutal. It's like getting hit by a truck covered in tinsel and candy canes. I'm not sure if it's more humiliating to get taken out by a bow or a vacuum cleaner gun, but either way, Phobos players were not having a good time. It's clear that Noir players have put in some serious practice time with their weapons, and it's paying off in this tournament. But hey, let's not count out Phobos just yet. They may be down, but they're definitely not out. Maybe they'll come up with a creative strategy to turn the tides of this battle. Only time will tell. So grab some more popcorn and settle in, folks. This tournament is far from over, and let's talk about that black hole grenade again, folks. It's like a magnet for Phobos players. Every time Noir throws one, it's like a moth to a flame. They just can't resist getting sucked in and turned into a black hole smoothie. And while they're being pulled into oblivion, Noir players are having a field day meleeing them to oblivion. It's like a game of whack-a-mole, only with players instead of moles. Poor Phobos doesn't stand a chance against this onslaught. It's like they're being attacked by a pack of rabid dogs, only instead of teeth, they have overpowered melee weapons. It's just not fair, folks. But hey, that's the name of the game, right? And speaking of the game, let's talk about the server. 
It's like trying to play Jenga on a trampoline, folks. It's so laggy, it's a wonder anyone can even move, let alone play. But these players are real troopers. They're soldiering on despite the lag and the unfair advantage that Noir has. It just goes to show that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the human spirit can persevere. And on that uplifting note, let's wrap up this tournament and say goodbye to Phobos. Better luck next time, guys. And as for Noir, well, let's just say that I hope Santa Claus brings them a nice big bag of coal for Christmas. They certainly deserve it after that performance. Until next time, folks, this has been your hilarious tournament commentator signing off, despite their valiant efforts, it seems like all of Phobos' hard work is going in vain. They may be skilled players, but there's only so much they can do against such overpowered weapons. Even their best players are getting sucked up by those black hole grenades and then being easily melee by the noir players. It's like they're trying to fight a tsunami with a water gun. Phobos needs to come up with a new strategy if they want to stand a chance against Noir's arsenal of destruction. But you've got to give them credit for not giving up. They're still fighting with everything they've got, and that's something to be admired. Who knows? Maybe they'll pull off a miraculous comeback and turn the tides of this battle. But with the way things are going, it's not looking good for Phobos. Maybe they should start practicing with those overpowered weapons themselves, or at least find a way to counter them. In the meantime, we'll just have to sit back and enjoy the spectacle of Noir's domination, while feeling a little sorry for poor old Phobos.R. It seems like the game developers have introduced a new update that sets a ping limit for players. And let me tell you, it's having some interesting consequences on this tournament. The Noir players, who were previously dominating the game with their overpowered weapons, are now stuck at their base, which they call Sky Base 2. Due to their high ping, they are unable to move around freely without experiencing severe lag, leaving them vulnerable to Phobos attacks. It's like they're stuck in quicksand, and Phobos is the shark circling around them. It's quite amusing to watch, really. The once mighty Noir players are now reduced to sitting ducks, hoping that the ping issue resolves itself before Phobos launches a full-scale assault. But let's not count them out just yet. After all, they have managed to hold off Phobos for this long, and they do have some tricks up their sleeves. I just hope they can figure out a way to overcome this ping limit issue, or it could spell disaster for their team. Meanwhile, the Phobos players are taking advantage of this opportunity to regroup and launch a counterattack. They know that time is of the essence, and they can't afford to waste any second. They've been playing catch-up for the entire tournament, but now the tides have turned, and they're in the driver's seat. Will Noir be able to overcome this ping limit issue and reclaim their dominance, or will Phobos seize this opportunity and emerge victorious? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, this tournament just got a whole lot more interesting. Stay tuned, folks, well, it seems like things may not be over yet for Phobos. Despite being at a significant disadvantage for most of the match, they may have a chance to come out on top after all. As I mentioned earlier, the Noir players seem to be quite distracted, with some of them even taking on roles in the game's development instead of focusing on the match at hand. Now, I don't want to jinx anything, but this could be the opening that Phobos needs to turn the tide in their favor. With Noir's players divided and possibly not fully focused on the match, Phobos might just be able to sneak in some surprise attacks and turn the tables on their opponents. Of course, it's still anyone's game at this point. Phobos will need to continue to put in all their effort and skill if they want to pull off a win. But who knows? Maybe this will be the upset of the century, with Phobos coming out on top against all odds. And even if Phobos doesn't end up winning this match, they can certainly hold their heads high for putting up a valiant effort against such a formidable opponent. After all, sometimes it's not about winning or losing, but about the journey and the effort put in along the way. So let's see how this all plays out.
Will Noir be able to recover from their distractions and clinch the win, or will Phobos pull off an upset for the ages? Only time will tell, hum, interesting point you brought up there. It seems that the activity of the Noir squad has become somewhat of a mystery lately. Some speculate that they've disbanded, while others think they're just taking a break from the game. Maybe they're even working on developing the game now, as we discussed earlier. Who knows? The only thing we can say for certain is that they haven't been seen on the battlefield as much as they used to be. This has left many Phobos fans feeling hopeful that their team might have a chance to come out on top in future battles. But let's not count Noir out just yet. They may be down, but they're certainly not out. And who knows, maybe they're just waiting for the right moment to strike back and show everyone that they're still a force to be reckoned with. Regardless of what the future holds, one thing is for sure, this tournament between Phobos and Noir will go down in history as one of the most intense battles ever fought in the game. Both teams put up a good fight, but in the end, it was Noir who came out on top. Congratulations to them for their well-deserved victory. And as for Phobos, don't worry, there's always next time, it's no secret that Noir has been an active squad lately, and that could mean big things for the game's basing system. With their manager, Howler Wolfiski, actively playing and basing, he's bound to have some insights into how the system can be improved. And with the reward update for basing looming on the horizon, Noir's activity couldn't come at a better time. Imagine if Noir's suggestions for improving the basing system were implemented in the reward update. Players would have even more incentive to base, and the overall gameplay experience would be more engaging and dynamic. Plus, Noir would get some serious recognition for their contributions to the game's development. Of course, this is all just speculation at this point. We don't know for sure if Noir's suggestions will be implemented, or even if they are working on anything at all. But with their recent activity, it's certainly possible. And who knows? Maybe Phobos will even have some suggestions of their own to make. It's all up in the air at this point, but one thing's for sure, the basing system is bound to get a boost one way or another. Well, that's it for this epic tournament commentary, folks. We witnessed some intense gameplay between two squads, Phobos and Noir, with some serious overpowered weapons, hilarious moments and intense action. While Noir may have won this round, who knows what the future holds for these squads. Will Phobos come back with a vengeance? Will Noir continue to dominate with their powerful weapons? Only time will tell. But for now, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the chaos that is online gaming. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more epic tournament commentaries and hilarious gameplay moments.